Glass wool is an insulating material made from fibers of glass arranged using a binder into a texture similar to wool. The process traps many small pockets of air between the glass, and these small air pockets result in high thermal insulation properties. Glass wool is produced in rolls or in slabs, with different thermal and mechanical properties. It may also be produced as a material that can be sprayed or applied in place, on the surface to be insulated. The modern method for producing glass wool is the invention of Gaines Slater working at the Owens Illinois Glass Company, Toledo, Ohio. He first applied for a patent for a new process to make glass wool in 1933. Gases possess good thermal conduction properties compared to liquids and solids, and thus makes a good insulation material if they can be trapped. In order to further augment the effectiveness of a gas such as air, it may be disrupted into small cells which cannot effectively transfer heat by natural convection. Convection involves a larger bulk flow of gas driven by buoyancy and temperature differences, and it does not work well in small cells where there is little density difference to drive it. In order to accomplish formation of small gas cells in man-made thermal insulation, glass and polymer materials can be used to trap air in a foam-like structure. The same principle used in glass wool is used in other man-made insulators such as rock wool, styrofoam, wetsuit neoprene foam fabrics, and fabrics such as Gore-Tex and polar fleece. The air trapping property is also the insulation principle used in nature in down feathers, and insulating hair such as natural wool. Natural sand and recycled glass are mixed and heated to 1450 degrees Celsius, to produce glass. The fiberglass is usually produced by a method similar to making cotton candy, by forcing it through a fine mesh by centripetal force, cooling on contact with the air. Cohesion and mechanical strength are obtained by the presence of a binder that cements the fibers together. A drop of bonder is placed at each fiber intersection. The fiber mat is then heated to around 200 degrees Celsius to polymerize the resin and is calendared to give it strength and stability. Finally, the wool mat is cut and packed in rolls or panels pulverized and stored for use. Glass wool is a thermal insulation that consists of intertwined and flexible glass fibers, which causes it to package air, resulting in a low density that can be varied through compression and binder content. As noted above, these air cells are the actual insulator. Glass wool can be a loose fill material, blown into attics, or, together with an active binder sprayed on the underside of structures, sheets and panels that can be used to insulate flat surfaces such as cavity wall insulation, ceiling tiles, curtain walls as well as ducting. It is also used to insulate piping and for soundproofing. Bats are pre-cut, whereas blankets are available in continuous rolls. Compressing the material reduces its effectiveness. Cutting it to accommodate electrical boxes and other obstructions allows air a free path to cross through the wall cavity. One can install bats in two layers across an unfinished attic floor, perpendicular to each other, for increased effectiveness at preventing heat bridging. Blankets can cover joists and studs as well as the space between them. Bats can be challenging and unpleasant to hang under floors between joists. Straps, or staple cloth or wire mesh across joists, can hold it up. Gaps between bats bypasses can become sites of air infiltration or condensation, both of which reduce the effectiveness of the insulation and require strict attention during the installation. By the same token careful weatherization and installation of vapor barriers is required to ensure that the bats perform optimally. Air infiltration can be also reduced by adding a layer of cellulose loose fill on top of the material. Fiberglass will irritate the eyes, skin, and the respiratory system. Potential symptoms include irritation of eyes, skin, nose, throat, dyspnea, breathing difficulty, sore throat, hoarseness and cough. Scientific evidence demonstrates that fiberglass is safe to manufacture, install and use when recommended work practices are followed to reduce temporary mechanical irritation. In the U.S., the National Toxicology Program NTP, 
in June 2011, removed from its report on carcinogens all biosoluble glass wool used in home and building insulation and for non-insulation products. Similarly, California's Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment OIHA, in November 2011, published a modification to its Proposition 65 listing to include only glass wool fibers inhalable and biopersistent. The U.S. NTP and California Zoe action means that a cancer warning label for biosoluble fiber glass home and building insulation is no longer required under federal or California law. All fiber glass wools commonly used for thermal and acoustical insulation were reclassified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer EARC, in October 2001 as not classifiable as to carcinogenicity to humans Group 3. Fiberglass is resistant to mold, but often the binder is organic, therefore the binder, if organic, supports mold growth. In tests glass wool was quite resistant to the growth of mold, but at very high relative humidity, 96% or above or if it becomes wet from saturation or indeed liquid water the growth will be moderate.